Farm Manager Series Ending Employment. Although we all hire with the intention of gaining a great new employee for our staff, sometimes employees are a poor fit for their positions, their work does not meet your standards, their behaviors are unacceptable, or you simply can't afford to keep a person on your payroll. This module provides a process to end employment legally and professionally. I'm Pat McCabe, and I'll be taking you through this training. At-will employment means anyone can be terminated from a position at any time without notice and without cause. Check that your state is an at-will employment state. Please note, you cannot terminate employment if the reason is due to one of the protected classes under discrimination laws, for example, someone's race, color, national origin, religion, sex, age, or mental or physical disability. Vermont and New Hampshire laws prohibit terminating employment for reasons based on sexual orientation, HIV status, place of birth, and age over 18. The laws prohibit termination as retaliation against an employee who has alleged employment discrimination or filed a sexual harassment or discrimination claim, or who has served as a witness to another's claim, or who has reported an unfair labor practice, or who reported a violation of a law as a whistleblower. Again, check with your attorney if you are considering terminating employment for the first time. Even in a state with at-will employment laws in place, it's best to provide clear feedback to employees and to document any problems along the way and to provide your employees with opportunities to turn around their work. However, your decision may ultimately be to end someone's employment. At the same time, at-will employment allows you to make an immediate termination for any problems without a warning if you choose or if you have no other option. Ending employment with dignity can prevent an unpleasant scene and preserve your interests as the business owner. Remember that it's always painful for the employee being fired whether they were expecting it or not. It can be painful for the business owner too, but there are steps you can take to have it go more smoothly. First, deliver the news in private. Don't wait until the end of the shift when others may also be leaving work. Try not to deliver the news by yourself. If there's another supervisor, have them join you to deliver the news. Say as little as possible. Don't get into a debate. You may say, I hear your point of view, but state that you've made your final decision. Be firm and respectful. This simply isn't working out. I'm sorry. You can remind them of what the expectations were for their work performance. Remember that we've talked earlier about why it's important for you to get to work on time. You've already had three chances to improve your attendance. Since you were late again today, I'm letting you go and today's your last day working here. Remember you aren't required to provide a reason for the termination, but they may ask you. You can always say thank you for your work. You'll be paid for the rest of the day, but you should pack up your things and head home now. Have the employee fill out and sign a time card or record the hours worked already in the pay period. In both Vermont and New Hampshire, any wages due to the employee must be paid within 72 hours of the termination of their employment. In other states, check with your Department of Labor for the payoff requirements. Most businesses find it easier to provide a manual check during the meeting. If you're laying off an employee for lack of work, you can pay on the next pay date. Collect any of your business property that was issued to the employee, keys, equipment, uniforms, etc. Provide a receipt for those items returned. You and the employee should both sign it. Include the final paycheck on the list so that the employee verifies that it was received. If the person seems upset, walk them to their car or let a coworker drive them home. If they are threatening or becoming violent, contact your local law enforcement. If asked, agree to only provide a limited reference to a potential new employer. You should limit your information to the facts, when the person worked for you, and what their work entailed. If the prospective new employer wants to know why your former employee left, you can always say that you aren't able to discuss it rather than disclosing your reasons for termination. Good luck, and that's the end of the lesson.